Hello and welcome to Base Plate Reviews. Today we're going to be going over the sets releasing in September 2024, along with the offers that are available. It's not a huge month in terms of the actual numbers of sets releasing, but I think this, along with October, is actually leading to a really important fall slash autumn for LEGO in terms of new themes that are coming out. And so, pretty interesting. As we can see here, we've got a few new sets releasing. Uh, what I do have to say is that the Nightmare Before Christmas one, and we will come on to it, isn't actually releasing on September 1st, even for Insiders. That's September 3rd, I think, when the early access is there. So don't turn up at LEGO stores expecting to pick that up tomorrow. Uh, so big ones, definitely the Burrow, the Collector's Edition. And with that, I think we'll move on to what the current offers are, which is all related to Harry Potter. So what we've got is this Back to Hogwarts. Obviously, we've got the school term coming up. So back to school, back to Hogwarts. I think that's actually pretty clever from Lego. Uh, and what we've got here are three gifts with purchase. Two of them that you can get with any purchase of Lego Harry Potter sets. So the Borgin and Burke's Flu Network and Draco in the Forbidden Forest. And then the Weasley Cock Collectible, which is specific to actually picking up that uh, the Burrow uh, Collector's Edition. So if we go on to Borgin and Burke's Flu Network, and this is available with purchases of 130 US dollars, 170 Canadian, or 120 British pounds. I actually think this is a pretty nice one, even though it's just the interior of Borgin and Burks, and specifically, really just the flu network, plus maybe the shop counter just there. I'm actually somewhat tempted to pick this up myself by purchasing some Harry Potter stuff, just because I think that you could actually mock this out, use this as the interior. You've got the exterior sign just there. And although we, I don't think we saw the Borgin and Burks, the actual outside of it in the films, we have got reference to it down in Universal Studios, Florida, uh, in the Diagon Alley section there. So, yeah, I think this is a pretty nice one. The other gift for purchase we've got, pretty minor, but, you know, it's better than nothing. And the purchase threshold for this is pretty low at 40 US dollars, 50 Canadian or 35 British pounds, and this is Draco in the Forbidden Forest. So you're getting Draco plus an owl there, and yeah, it's just a poly bag. I suppose you do get the spider as well, kind of some nice foliage pieces. Not bad, and I think it's it's a nice little extra to get. I wouldn't go out my way to pick up any Harry Potter stuff, though, if you're not buying it anyway. After that, we do get the collectible Weasley clock, and this is specific to actually picking up that Burrow Collector's Edition. I have to say, I think that this is just tat. And I think we can see that by the notional value that Lego attached to it of 17 US dollars. So it comes in a nice box and everything, but this is some pretty low quality stuff. Uh, not the nicest gift with purchase with a really expensive set. When you consider that last year, uh, what we got with the Gringotts Bank was an extra bit to slide onto that. And I just think was was a bit nicer than this but anyway since we're talking about the harry potter gifts with purchase let's get on to that the burrow collector's edition this is 260 us dollars and more than that in canadian 340 and 220 british pounds uh, it's pretty nice i'm not sure whether it would have been my first kind of option for a collector's edition but we can see here that the interior is pretty detailed opens up really nicely Plus also, once it's closed up, it does really look, you know, up to the kind of standards of a modular, I would say. They've got the lean of the house really well done there. And that's the kind of stuff that's really difficult to do if you're designing your own kind of Lego stuff. Lots and lots of minifigs, of course, and we can see them all here in the house. A lot of them are the Weasley family. I think that the standout one is Molly Weasley just over here. I don't know if we've got in these pictures, uh, a better close-up of her just there. Yeah, so pretty fantastic. And although this is saying we're, we can pick it up on 1st of September, that is for LEGO Insiders. You should all be LEGO Insiders. It's free to sign up, and you're effectively getting 5% cash back all of the time in terms of those LEGO points. So I think that you know if, if you're into Harry Potter and you're collecting all the stuff, this is a pretty good set. I'm not sure if it's quite the standards of stuff like Gringotts from last year. On to the Nightmare Before Christmas set now. 
And I know that this is one that people have been pretty excited about. It was a very popular Lego idea set. And although this has been changed a bit from the designer's original idea, I think it's still pretty good. And also, I think it's added in some really nice detail, specifically just around here compared to what was in the creator's original design. Of course, this is coming out just in time for Christmas because it's a Christmas movie, not a Halloween movie. And like I said before, this is one that actually comes out on September 6th, but early access for LEGO Insiders starts on 3rd of September. Lots and lots of cool minifigs here, although the mayor is somewhat controversially brick-built and I think doesn't quite match up to the rest of the minifigs there. Uh, Jack Skellington is a little bit taller than the rest, but maybe needed to be just a bit taller than that. Pretty good overall. I know people are pretty excited about it. This is going for 200 US dollars, 260 Canadian, and 170 British pounds. I think it's one that, you know, the people who like this are really going to like it. And the people who don't like it just aren't going to be that interested. But definitely a pretty cool one coming up for both Halloween and Christmas. Of course, I am joking. Lots of people consider this very much a Halloween movie. Finally, in terms of the big sets releasing in September, we've got The Legend of Zelda Great Deku Tree 2-in-1 releasing for $300, US, 390 Canadian or 260 British pounds. I think this is one that a lot of people are excited about. I definitely am. It's not great on a parts-to-price ratio with 2,500 pieces for $300, US, but we have got that functionality to build it as two different sets. So you basically, from what I've seen of people who've built it online, people who've got it early access with LAN, etc. So you build it to a certain degree in the booklet and then you can either skip ahead and turn it into the Ocarina of Time Great Deku Tree or carry on and you build it into the Breath of the Wild Deku Tree. I think both look great. My favourite game is definitely Ocarina of Time. I'm of that kind of generation. But fantastic sets and fantastic minifigs. And the really exciting thing here is that it's not just a one-off, it seems, because they have actually created a theme for LEGO Legend of Zelda, and this could end up being pretty huge. I actually think that Zelda in general could end up being really, really big in terms of the entertainment industry, in terms of fantasy, etc., because they've commissioned a movie to be made, and I believe it's going to be live action. And there is something kind of missing there since Lord of the Rings. Stuff like Game of Thrones doesn't really hit it, because obviously it's very much targeted towards just an adult audience, and then other things which they've put out just haven't really hit the mark. Things like Rings of Power um, on Amazon aren't really uh, doing what it needs to do. And also even kind of space fantasy with Star Wars kind of floundering a bit. I think that Zelda could uh, really mop up in the market. And this looks to be a great Lego set. A bit expensive, but it's pretty tempting. After that, we're on to some of the more minor stuff, but we've got the Dungeons and Dragons minifig series coming out, which is five US dollars, six Canadian, or three pounds fifty in uh, British pounds. And I think this is pretty interesting in terms of their definitely some very colourful characters. If we go down and look at them a bit closer, then I think if you're going for that kind of fantasy stuff, some kind of medieval things, and these could make some really good characters for that. Definitely pretty out there. I mean. We look at the elf bard here. He's got the bright kind of fuchsia pink uh, hands just there. I think that must be representing some gloves. We've got a really nice witch here, the witch queen and the halfling druid. And also some pretty nice uh, accessories as well with the walking brain here. And we've also got a nice kind of wolf or dog just there. And a red-eyed rat, which is just fantastic just here. So I think that you know nothing too major but interesting enough and just remember that there are apps and stuff which allow you to scan the boxes to make sure you're picking up the minifig that you actually want to get we've also got some seasonal sets coming out so we've got this christmas ornament selection which i think is pretty nice it's a little bit childish but you know not too bad and that's 13 us dollars 17 canadian or 11 british pounds we've also got this christmas table decoration which is 40 us dollars 55 Canadian or 40 British pounds. So not good in, if you're picking it up in the UK at all. Uh, UK British pounds are worth more than US dollars, so it shouldn't be the same in dollars as it is in pounds. So I, I would just caution against picking that one up if you're in the UK, unless you can find it on discount. 
After that, we've got one which is a bit more coming up, the Halloween barn, just 205 pieces. You do get the little skeleton there, though. And if we take a look at it a bit closer, you know, it's nice enough. It's a pretty minor kind of set, but at the same time, it is low priced. So it's just 15 US dollars, 19 Canadian or 13 British pounds. And again, ready to pick up tomorrow on 1st September. Finally, we've got the advent calendars coming out and we've got six of these. These come out every single year and we've got a few of them that are based at 45 US dollars or 60 Canadian or 30 British pounds. So actually pretty well priced in terms of British pounds. And those are the Star Wars advent calendar, the Disney advent calendar and the Harry Potter advent calendar. Plus, we've also got the Spider-Man advent calendar down there. So separate to, I think we've had Marvel advent calendars before. Haven't got one of those this year, just a specific Spider-Man one. After that, we've got the two in-house advent calendars. So the City and the Friends one. And they're available for 33 US dollars, 40 Canadian or 20 British pounds. So pretty good value there. If we take a look at them a bit closer, just in terms of the minifigs we get. Getting six here with the Star Wars one. So we're getting Luke and Leia plus Ahsoka. We've got a couple of Stormtrooper type characters and also droid as well after that the disney advent calendar i think this is probably the one which is maybe not as good as the others we're getting five mini dolls but they're not even really mini dolls they're mini mini dolls here so then the mini dolls but in kind of child form and we're getting elsa ariel a few others as well moana um, someone from encanto and i think that's uh the princess and the frog one if we go down and just double check what it says uh so mirabelle that's the encanto one isn't it and we're getting tiana that's right uh, because the ride in uh, disney has been rethemed to princess and the frog and that's tiana after that we get the harry potter one i actually think this is pretty good so we're getting seven minifigs here so we're getting the, the three down here the three here plus we're getting the choir ghost there. I think we can definitely count that as a minifig. Plus, we're getting Hedwig as well. And I actually think this is maybe the best of them this year. Getting some pretty interesting minifigs there. Uh, if we go to the Spider-Man one, actually, the packaging for this isn't really clear about exactly which minifigs you're getting. So on this side, we, it looks like we're just getting the four minifigs plus a snowman type one as is that spider pig spider ham something like that but if we go to the back you can see we also get miles morales just here so yeah we're getting the green goblin spider-man spider gwen venom and miles morales so not bad it doesn't look like we're getting the most stuff with this just 246 pieces uh, i'm not super impressed we go to the friends one so this isn't the disney friends one but just the friends one getting four minifigs so two children couple of adults plus a baby and swaddling just there you can't really see it too clearly in this picture but i promise it is the lego city one actually i think this is pretty desirable in terms of the minifigs so we're getting one two three four five six minifigs including mrs and mr claus plus a baby minifig and if we just click on here and zoom in a bit that is a pretty desirable dog so i think that's golden retriever in its nice Christmas themed kind of harness slash uh, coat there. Plus we are getting another little cat minifig just there. And I think one of the smallest Christmas tree builds that we've seen, but not too expensive. Like I say, in terms of British pounds, this is only 20 British pounds, which, that, which works out really well in terms of the exchange rate. Uh, the other sets we've looked at today, not so great in British pounds. I think the Canadian prices have been the best from what I've seen, but Overall, not a bad selection. So is there anything that you're looking to pick up this September? Are you looking to try and get the Harry Potter gifts with purchase? Or are you going to be waiting till October and saving up for those Fortnite sets? And also maybe we're going to be seeing the modular release in the start of December as well instead of January like we've seen in previous years. Last year we saw the Natural History Museum actually release before Christmas. I think I actually might get the first couple of GWP, so the Borgen and Burks Flu Network and Draco in the Forbidden Forest because my wife has her eyes on the Hogwarts Castle and Grounds. So this is the kind of micro scale uh, build and I think it's pretty reasonable at 220 Canadian dollars and actually looks like it should show pretty well. 
the other one mic you up for is the great deku tree two in one uh it's a pity that we're not getting any kind of extra set with this any kind of gift with purchase but it is great to see that this is actually a theme of its own lego legend of zelda so we might be seeing some pretty interesting things going forward hope you've enjoyed this if you have then please leave a like and consider subscribing if you're not already and yeah let me know in the comments below what things you're planning on picking up and with that be good mm -hmm.